All right. So sorry that took so long. Hello everybody, welcome to Twitch and welcome to Cooking with Gamer. This is the second episode and tonight we're going to be doing uh, sesame cauliflower with garlic green beans and rice. And if you're new to Twitch, um, it's free to follow. That will give you a notification whenever the show comes on. And so that way you'll know to tune in at that time. It's also, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free to get a subscription. And the subscription would help fund the channel so that we can stop having so many technical difficulties. So please, if you have Amazon Prime, like I said, it's free. Show us some love. Give us some support. Click the subscribe button. You get one free subscription per month with Amazon Prime. Also, like I said, it's free to follow. And that'll let you know when we're online so that you can tune in and you can see the next thing that we're cooking. Um, as of right now, every Sunday at 6 o'clock, we're going to have this show. And then every day at 4 o'clock, we're going to run a rerun. Um, in the future, there will be extra incentive for subscribers. You'll get extra access to videos that other people won't have access to, things like that. Alright, so today we're going to be doing the sesame cauliflower, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to get some, uh, some rice cooking. So I've already got our rice pre-measured out, however I do not have a pan for the rice. Can you please... Okay. I did not know it was here. So. Alright, so like... Usually we're going to put the rice in the pan, put the water in the pan, and start boiling. One part rice, two parts water. And there we go. We're going to give that a little stir, and then we are going to put the lid on it, and that's good to go. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to break down our cauliflower. So first thing, I cut all the leaves off the outside. Now if anybody wants anything in particular to be cooked or wants to see how to cook something in particular, just make sure that you say something in the chat. And we'll see if we can make it. For All of our food is 100% vegan. It's also 100% organic. Remember, it's really important to make sure that you buy organic food because you don't want the stuff that they put on the other food. We'll get all the leaves off the back of it there. There we go. Now it looks something like that. Okay. So then we'll take our knife. We're going to cut all of the pieces away from the saw, loose from the saw. So I just kind of cut around the core. And then all these will kind of fall off of there like that. Cut the rest of the way out. There we go. Put that in the compost for adding to the garden. What we're looking for is we don't want, we really don't want pieces that are big like this. We want to get our pieces down more to this size here. Put them in. It's actually covering my view there. So take these larger pieces like this and I just slip a stalk. That way they can break apart into smaller pieces. Cauliflower works great as a chicken replacement, so if you're just starting out with being vegan and you're really craving barbecue chicken or, in this case, sesame chicken, it makes a great alternative. The texture's really nice, the shape's really nice, it likes to hold sauces really well. 
and it has a meaty texture and taste. Like we use cauliflower in a ton of dishes because it's super easy. <laughs> There's people messing with things in front of me while I'm trying to cook. Making it easy on me here. All right. Now that we've got our cauliflower broken down, I'll show you how that looks there. So everything's in good size. Clean up the cutting board. Everything goes in the compost so that we can compost it down and make compost tea put back into the garden so that we can make more veggies. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of oil in our pan. I'm just gonna use a little bit of, about a half a teaspoon of coconut oil. Turn our pan on medium high. We're actually going to go ahead and put the oil in our other pan for our garlic green beans as well, about the same amount. And we are also going to turn it on to medium high as well. Alright, so the cauliflower, as soon as that pan gets warm, we're going to add the cauliflower to the pan. So on the side here, we're going to go ahead and start getting ready for our garlic green beans. So what we need is we need our garlic. I believe it's about a half a cup total once it's chopped. I don't have it chopped up yet, so I didn't have it to measure, but a lot of garlic. The more, the better. So I like to smash the garlic, get all the oils out. You can use less garlic, you can use more, there's not really, really not an exact recipe to the garlic green beans. Like I said, I love garlic, our family loves garlic, so the more the merrier for us. But if you don't want it quite so spicy, you can tone it back a little bit. And this is one of the easiest meals. This is one that we have probably four or five times a month just because it's extremely easy, extremely fast. Alright, so now that we smashed all the garlic, and chop it up. And if you are new to Twitch, it's a really great platform, mostly used by gamers to share their gameplay with other people. But it's also a great platform to be able to stream cooking shows or craft shows, anything. So check it out, you might find some other things that you like. And in the meantime, make sure that you hit the follow button because that will let you have notifications whenever I'm on and when we're cooking. Any memberships, any uh, subscriptions that anybody gets, all of that money will go to improving the stream and bringing you more videos like this. I do stream for gaming, but that's not the purpose of my channel. This is actually the purpose of my channel. I just also like gaming. So I'm going to set our garlic to the side here. Rinse my hand off. We're also going to take half of a white onion and slice that into strips. Now I like to make it into strips like this here because it fits well with the green beans. So that way when you get a bite of green beans, it picks up the onion very well. It's well with it. Anyways, just tuning in. Welcome to the stream. This is Cooking with Gamer. We're going to be here every Sunday, 6 o'clock, 
And there, if you miss the show, there will be reruns every day at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you have any suggestions, make sure you let us know. Anything in particular you want us to cook, let me know. Again, all of our food is vegan. All of our food is 100% organic. All right, so our pans are getting warm here. Make sure the oil is coated in the pan really well. Turn that rice down. So what we're going to do is we're going to add our cauliflower to the pan to the oil. There we go. And then the other pan, we're going to add our green beans. Now you can use fresh or you can use frozen. In this case, we're using frozen green beans. Alright, a couple other vegetables that are really good in this sauce. You can really, you can add anything you want. You can add uh, celery, bell pepper, you can add white onion, yellow onion if you have, or red onion if you'd like. Bell pepper, some squash, in this case we have some patty pans that you could, actually these are sunburst, aren't they? They're, they can, their nickname is like patty pan and button squash and right. stuff. So you could, you could add any kind of squash, you could add cashews, you could add all kinds of things. Really, anything that you want. Alright, so now we're going to make our sauce. We're going to take our bowl, we add our cauliflower in there. A nice whisk. And we're going to add, we're going to put our, all of our sugar. And the recipe is listed in the chat. And if it's not, there's a command for it, which is, what is the command? It's not working right now. If okay. I put it in so the command's not working, so we'll post it. We will post it in the chat. I believe it's in there already. We'll post it in the reruns in case you missed it. So we add our sugar. We add our toasted sesame oil. Soy sauce, ginger, cornstarch, sesame seeds, and for some reason I do not have water here. We also add our water. Make sure to keep stirring everything, you don't want it to burn. You're not really looking so much to brown the cauliflower, as you are to just soften it a little bit. Our rice is done. Green beans, the same thing, as you're, just, you're really just looking to get them hot. Okay, so stir all the ingredients together for your sauce. You can use fresh ginger. I like to use uh, powdered ginger for the sauce because it's just a little more consistent. Alright, while we're waiting on the cauliflower to heat up, we're going to go ahead and dice our green onions. Now the green onions, I like to put them in the, in the dish after it's cooked so that we don't cook them, so that they retain some flavor. If you put them in too early, you just really won't taste them. It gives a nice fresh pop to the dish.
going to turn the cauliflower down a little bit before we add the sauce so we don't burn the sugar that's in the sauce. Now one thing you can add to this sauce is you can add some crushed red pepper. In this case we're not going to because some of the kids do not care for it. But if you like your food a little spicier, definitely add that. stir it a lot right before you pour it in and then you keep stirring it after you put it in as well so the, the cornstarch doesn't go to the bottom and burn. We're going to stir it really well and we're going to pour it in. And it's still pretty hot. We're going to give it a stir. We're going to give it just a minute to heat up and once it heats up and gets that cornstarch hot, it's going to start to thicken. And as soon as it starts to thicken, we're going to turn the uh, burner off and let it cool while we finish the rest of the dish. Can Jesse grab me a uh, plate, please? Thank you. Do not forget to turn the uh, burner down before you add the salt. Because once you burn that sugar, it will taste burnt and there's not much you can do about it. It's really easy to do too. It happens in just a few seconds. So the sauce is starting to get thick. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off and let it sit and wait. So the recipe for the garlic green beans is actually really simple. It's just garlic, soy sauce, and a little bit of black pepper. Now, I like to add the white onion because it really holds the soy sauce, but it's not necessary for it. I also like to wait till the very end to add the garlic and the onion so that they retain a lot of their flavor. If you want it to be a little spicier, that's what I suggest you do, that way the garlic's fresh. But if you'd like the garlic to be toned down just a little bit, you can put it in a little bit earlier and let it cook down a little bit so it won't be quite so strong. Now that the green beans are heated up, we will add the garlic. Like I said, we like a lot of garlic. You could definitely, I mean, you could even cut down to a quarter of that much garlic and it'd still, still be good and still have a lot of garlic flavor. Another thing if you're new to Twitch is that Twitch is a way to have interactive TV. So right now as you're watching me, if it's Sunday and you're watching the live video, you can chat with me. You can ask me anything you want to ask about the food, anything else you want to ask. You can just put it in the chat right there and I'll read it and I can answer you. So if you're just tuning in, make sure you say hi. Just let me know you're there. If you haven't followed yet, make sure to hit the follow button. That will give you a notification every time that I go live. So 
we basically will just want to give it a little while until it starts to get some of the water out of the green beans because we use frozen green beans. If you use fresh green beans, this wouldn't take quite so long. There wouldn't be much water from them being frozen. So we're going to give it a minute just to cook off some of the water. Let the garlic flavor get in there. And at this point, it's really smelling good. And being that I'm using cast iron, that's why I keep stirring the cauliflower still, because the pan is still hot, so it's still simmering. If your sauce happens to get a little too thick too, you can just add a little bit of water to it. Just make sure to only add a little bit at a time, and then stir it in, and then see how it is before you decide to add more. We'll go ahead and plate up some rice. At this point now, I'm going to add the onion to the green beans. I really prefer to use white onions, but yellow onions will work this time. I do prefer them to be long and skinny cut instead of diced, like this here, so that they mix into the green beans. If you dice them, they'll just end up on the bottom. At this point, once the uh, water is cooked out, you start to get a little bit of browning on the green beans and the garlic. Then I'm going to add the pinch of black pepper. Now I like the, gar the, uh, the onions to still have a firm texture and then they really sop up the uh, soy sauce if you don't cook them too much. If you cook them too much they get soft, they get really moist and then they really just don't take up that flavor. So I'm going to go ahead and flip that burner off and we're going to take our soy sauce. In this case it was a quarter cup but I, I typically just take the soy sauce bottle and dump it in until it's Looks good. I'm going to add the soy sauce and that's going to kind of clean the pan of all that garlic oil that got stuck to the bottom of the pan from the cooking. You'll notice too that the, the onions will get a nice kind of yellowish gold tinge around the outside and that's them soaking up that soy sauce. Now that our cauliflower's had a minute to cool, we're going to add our green onion. garlic green beans with sesame cauliflower and white rice. Now the recipe for the sauce will be in the chat like I said and if it's not feel free to send me a message and ask me and I'll send it to you. And thanks for watching and make sure to tune in next Sunday 6 o'clock p.m. and we will run reruns of the previous show every day at 4 o'clock so if you miss it you can tune in then and I will try to be in the chat 
on all of those days at 4 p.m. So if you have any questions, make sure you can still type in the chat in there. And I, I won't be live, so I can't answer you in the video, but I can answer you in the chat. So if you have any questions, make sure to let me know. And remember, please give us some support. Help us do this. Help us stream more days. We can do, instead of one day a week, if we get some better equipment and get some funding to get a computer that we need to do better streams, we can definitely start streaming, hopefully even every day. So please make sure you follow, make sure you subscribe, and one love. Thank you.